There's a tiny niche that exists at the intersection of three-row crossovers, luxury cars, and muscle trucks, which is where the 2023 Mercedes-AMG GLS 63 sits, rumbling threateningly. This ultra SUV has the panache of an S-Class sedan crossed with the sole of an AMG passenger car thanks to its 603 horsepower, 4.0-liter, twin-turbo V8. While its overall size and shape are identical to the Benz-branded GLS class, the AMG version comes with a specially tuned air suspension that seasons it with a spicier on-road personality to go along with power that jams you into the seat back. We'd hardly call its moves race car sharp, but it delivers more than a hint of AMG flavor on a twisty road. The cabin is richly appointed and the first and second rows are particularly spacious and similar to that of rivals such as the BMW X7 M50i. But if you're looking for maximum interior space in your steroidal SUV, consider the 682 horsepower Cadillac Escalade V-Series. The AMG brand's biggest bruiser rolls into 2023 with nary a change to its powertrain, chassis, styling, interior, or equipment, although the GLS 63's starting price is deep into the six-figure realm, we'd still suggest a few options sure to please the whole family. For one thing, the warmth and comfort package is a nice bundle for those in northern climates, as it adds heated door panels, heated armrests, and a heated center console. We'd also suggest the energizing package which includes the in-cabin fragrance diffuser and the acoustic comfort package, and also adds increased cabin insulation for a quieter interior. Mercedes-AMG also offers a host of standalone features that may catch your eye, including the Bonkers 23-inch multi-spoke forged wheels that look just perfect when framed within the GLS 63's muscular wheel wells. The GLS 63 comes standard with the same dual-screen infotainment setup found in the non-AMG variant. Two 12.3-inch screens, nestled next to each other in a shared bezel, form the digital gauge display and center infotainment display. Mercedes-Benz's new MBUX interface can be controlled via voice, touchscreen, or with the click wheel mounted on the center console. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration is standard, as is a 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot. Mercedes-AMG offers several driver assistance features as standard, with more advanced features including a semi-autonomous driving mode. For more information about the GLS class's crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA, and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety IIHS, websites. Key safety features include standard automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection, standard lane departure warning with lane keeping assist, available adaptive cruise control with a lane centering feature. Three rows of seating and interior styling that's slightly sportier versus the Benz branded GLS class sets the GLS 63 apart from two row SUV powerhouses such as the BMW X5M and the Audi RS Q8. Like those competitors, the GLS 63 is gorgeously appointed inside. Soft leather covers nearly every square inch of the cabin, and those areas that aren't leather wrapped are treated to genuine wood trim and tastefully applied meal trim, buttons and knobs are rendered in a rich looking metallic finish. Front seat occupants can enjoy a massage while blasting down the interstate, and passenger space is generous in the second row, which can also be equipped with heated seats and power sunshades. The third row of seats is tight for adults but perfectly suitable for children. Cargo space is the same as the standard GLS class, which in our testing fit for carry-on suitcases behind its third row and 30 in total behind the front seats. Under the hood of the GLS 63 is a twin-turbocharged 4.0-liter V8 engine that makes a whopping 603 horsepower with the help of a 48-volt hybrid system. All-wheel drive is standard, as is a 9-speed automatic transmission and air suspension. We were blown away by the GLS 63's performance at our test track as it out-accelerated several hot sports cars we've tested, tearing off a blistering 3.6 second 0 to 60 mph run. For comparison, the old GLS 63, which made a mere 577 horsepower, managed a none too shabby 4.3 second 0 to 60 mph run. As impressed as we were with the GLS's acceleration, we can't say the same for its driving dynamics. The ride is firm, especially on the optional 23 inch wheels, but that firmness doesn't translate to a feeling of unflappable precision when cornering, though it does offer plenty of grip to have some fun with on a twisty road. The EPA estimates that the GLS 63's fuel economy is a dismal 14 miles per gallon city and 18 miles per gallon highway.
On our 200-mile highway fuel economy test route the GLS-63 delivered a decent 22 miles per gallon, the GLS-63's main rival, the BMW X7 M50 i managed 24 miles per gallon in the same test. Warranty and maintenance coverage, Mercedes-AMG's standard warranty policies aren't anything special. Furthermore, they offer zero complimentary scheduled maintenance, unlike BMW and Audi, which both offer such a perk, limited warranty covers 4 years or 50,000 miles, powertrain warranty covers 4 years or 50,000 miles, no complimentary scheduled maintenance.